Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome to the final episode of A Week with Javier. It's been a long road, but there's only one thing left to do now and that is to play through beta mode. And at that point I will have 100% completed the game, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. Uh, let's see if I remember where beta mode even is. Hmm. Free play, beta mode, right here. All right, here we go. Night one, 11 p.m. Violet is faster than Mr. Monarca, but she will stay more time at the door, unlike Mr. Monarca being slow, but he may attack faster. Yeah, 10 out of 10 English. I had a fucking stroke reading that shit. Oh my Lord. Okay. I can still recharge my power, can't I? I can't. Oh no. That's a problem. I gotta do one hell of a job at saving up my power. Because I can't recharge it. Or can I? Is that Monarca? Oh, it is. I, I bought this green hat over here. I don't know why. But he seems to be extra, extra fascinated over it. I mean, look at him. Staring it down with such curiosity. And now he's gone. Did he take the green hat with him? No, he didn't. I guess he stopped caring about it. And I got to play through the entire thing in this one video. This is going to be a long one. Oh. Mindy. Or, I'm sorry, not Mindy, fuck, uh, Violet. How you doing? There's a lot less animations. Their facial expressions are a lot more plain. They look like they're bored out of their mind. You see? And I gotta beat this entire fucking thing. I'm gonna need hella G fuel for this. I got both of them right over here at cameras eight and nine. Okay. What's going on? How the fuck is it only 2 a.m.? It's 6 a.m. The night's still not over yet. This night was long as shit. It has to be at least 10 or 12 fucking minutes. That's way too long. And all the nights in this beta mode are gonna be that long too. So I'm really gonna be feeling it if I die a lot on a night. Oh man. What did I get myself into? The night's still not over yet. It's been 6 a.m. for like what feels like five minutes now. And the night's still not done yet. Uh. Oh man, I'm gonna hate this. Time to go home. So we're on night two. I don't expect it to be any different than night one. I should probably start holding control now in case this guy also starts moving. I also should have both headphones on. That would make things a lot easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know it would. <clears throat> Anyways. So the lights were just flicker- oh no. That's Mike, the window guy. I damn near forgot all about him. Oh, he's in the cut hiding down there. I see him. Bro thinks he's slick. I see you down there. He doesn't make any noise. He doesn't bang on the window to let you know he's gone. You're just left to take a guess, I guess. Okay, now that I've been kept extra busy tonight with a whole bunch of new characters moving, it feels like this shit is going by much faster, because now it's 3 a.m. already. Huh? Somebody there? Yep, yeah, you're there. Mr. Monarca, how you doing? Oh, you're gone already? Damn, that was quick. You gone? Yeah, you are. I don't know why I closed the window back again. I just did it on instinct when I saw Violet over there. Why are you still there? It don't matter. We're good. Okay. I just closed doors on all of them. The one with pupils is the real one. It doesn't matter if you close doors on the fake one, as long as you close the door on the real one. I don't know why I have all this shit closed. It's not like I'm in any danger. I'm out here wasting power like an idiot. Okay. Oh my god, Monarca. Monarca, my guy. You are active as a motherfucker, damn. All right. I got a little reckless with the power, but made it so it don't even matter can y'all get from my door please 
Oh my god, they're still there. They're still there? What the fuck? Oh, Mindy actually shows up at the door. She doesn't just camp over there, she actually shows up there. Let me make sure both of my doors are clear. They are not. They definitely are not. They're anything but clear. Okay. Okay. That's that. Night five. And then we probably got to do night six too, right? I'm sure we do. Every game's got a night six. It's got to have a night six. It has to. It just has to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Controlled shock? I got a controlled shock. What am I shocking for? Oh, I know who we're shocking. I forgot his name. Um, The Destroyer. Or The Destroyed. Whatever his name was. We gotta shock him when we see him on either side. And I gotta really be looking out for him because he hides. At least in the official game. I don't know about the beta mode. I don't know where he'll be posted up at. So I should definitely keep an eye out for him. There we go. There we go. We got his ass. We got his mind right. I just barely won that with 1% power left. There's a night six, of course. All right, let me do that. Please don't let there be a night seven or anything like that. Six nights was more than enough. I'm ready for this game to be over with. What is this thing in my office? What's he doing here? Why is he here? He's materializing more and more. The longer I stare at him, how do I get him to go away though? Oh, what is that? What is that thing? Oh, when he fully forms. Okay, I just gotta pull my camera up on him. All right, focus, lock in. That's a pretty catchy tune. I don't know how much time I have. It was 6 a.m. when the power went out, so if the night could just end before I die, that would be incredible. That would be like the highlight of this entire video, but it's very unlikely given my luck, you know? Oh, the music stopped, that's not a good sign. Oh, that, that probably means I'm about to get jumped. <gasps> wow. Okay, there we go, custom night, which I don't have to play. Oh, it's just these guys? Hmm, let me give it a try. I'll try 12-12 mode, just for you guys, okay? So I confirmed that I don't have to hold control or anything. This guy, he's not a threat, he's just gonna be taking a nap the entire game. Nothing to worry about at all, so I just need to focus on the main seven, the window guy, the foxy guy, Mindy, Monarca, Violet, and of course Javier because there is no milk or anything like that. Beta mode is bare bones as a motherfucker. So there's no reason why I shouldn't beat this.
Well, I did it. it. Took me almost a whole fucking year, but I did it. I 100% completed a week with Javier. Finally. All right. Anyways, it gets an 8 out of 10. Since I've been on and off this game for so long, I done forgot most of all the other problems I had with the game. All I can really remember is the bad English, the poorly written dialogue, and the god awfully written instructions. I take back the shit I said about Javier's mechanics. It's actually not that bad once you get used to it. It's just explained poorly. Very, very poorly. Like they straight up lied, you know? Nothing is going to happen to you if you close the door on the fake one. As long as you have the door closed on the real one, you're good. Oh, and I forgot to mention that they don't say anything about how he can be in the vent too, signaled by the one in the window with the blue and red eyes. I remember there's a bunch of characters you straight up gotta figure out for yourself, like the spider from another dimension, the guy from the Nightmare Knight, and the Blue Arrow guy. Zero instructions on any of them. It's like the devs just gave up on telling you how to beat the game. Or at least, not telling you how to beat the game, but telling you how to defend yourself. I'm sorry. I had to look this shit up so many times in this game, it's crazy. So hopefully the second game's instructions are done way, way better. And of course, I lost a lot of brain cells reading this game's dialogue, especially in those pre-night cutscenes that got removed. I understand that English is definitely not the dev's first language, but I'm sure they could have at least had somebody proofread the shit or something, you know? Maybe it's just me and it probably is, but uh, other than that, I can't really think, or should I say remember, any other issues I had with the game. It's a very long game, that's for sure. Just when you think it ends, it never ends. It's got tons of content, tons of characters, a little bit of Easter eggs here and there, and most of all, the game functions. It works. There's a little bit of RNG involved, but it's nowhere near as egregious as many other games that I played. The game can get hard at times, but it's very much doable. Not that mini game though. That mini game is anything but doable, but everything else, if you're willing to lock in hard enough, Anybody can beat these knights except for maybe the Toon Mare Knight. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, the experience was thrilling and exhilarating, and I'll definitely be checking out the second game whenever I get to it. Ayo? Whoa, 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 you guys. Chill, chill, chill. Alright, I'm gonna play it eventually, just wait a little bit long. <sighs> Y'all aren't gonna give me a break at all, aren't you? Nope. Yep, I thought so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed not this video because, you know, there's not really much to enjoy, but the whole series as a whole. I hope you guys enjoyed the entire A Week with Javier series as a whole, even though it's taken me forever to finish this game. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.